from Case at 12. Good morning, San Antonio starts right now. Good morning. It is Wednesday, September 12th. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. I don't know about your morning commute as far as rain, but I had a little bit of stuff on my windshield. Just a little sprinklies, nothing that was an actual downpour. But the roads are still wet. They are in some spots out there. We might uh, maybe see a shower or two today, Mike Osterhage. Yes, indeed. As a matter of fact, Marcus just uh, pointed out on one of the Trans Guide cameras. He's going to show you this coming up in a second over there on the northeast side of town. You drop some of the yeah, lens. We've got uh, some All rain right. showing up. So this is the, uh, the the heavier stuff, if you will, right there in Atascosa County. You've got some light to moderate showers. All those are kind of sliding off to the west to northwest and a few of them in Wilson County and then coming back in here toward Victoria and we'll continue again to see more of these kind of developing throughout the day and then there are a few little spots here and there in town all this is kind of ground clutter around the radar site but notice these few little spots right in there so you are going to be running into a couple of showers not only this morning and then this afternoon some sunshine thrown in Sort of like what we had yesterday, and that will get us back up into the mid 80s. We're starting off in the mid 70s right now, and there is more humidity out there this morning as compared to what we had yesterday. We had that little break yesterday, but not this morning. So today's, you know, scattered variety of rain. Same thing tomorrow. Then Friday and Saturday, we are looking at this disturbance here in the Gulf of Mexico, and it is going to continue to work its way in our direction. Whether it becomes anything official as far as a tropical system that almost doesn't matter at this point because this thing is like I said just forecast to be a big uh, rain producer for us and potentially some flooding rains some of those heavier downpours and that's going to be Friday and Saturday more on the weekend forecast coming up and a closer look at Florence in just a couple of minutes time saver traffic right now here's officer Marcus Trujillo thank you Mike and taking a look at the roadways folks no accidents right now so we're still doing very very well in that respect some spots you may have uh, some sprinkles on the lens. There's four tinted Austin Highway. As you can see, that trans guide camera, not only uh, water drops on the lens, but you can also see that sheen to the roadway. So make sure you uh, increase your following distance and reduce that speed this morning. 35 at Weedner, no problems now. And 21 at the quarry north and southbound lane still running smoothly. Mark? Marcus, thank you very much, sir. This morning we have new information about a man accused of dragging a police officer in a stolen truck. Sarah Costa live where the incident started at a Home Depot parking lot on the southwest side. Sarah? Good morning. In an affidavit releasing the name of that man, we now know that he is 32-year-old Hayden Laban, and he is facing charges of, dry, of dragging a police officer briefly in a stolen truck and then leading police on a brief chase. This all happening on August 26th, starting here in this Home Depot parking lot. Authorities say they were patrolling the area of Highway 151 and Loop 410 and stopped the driver of a stolen vehicle in the parking lot of a Home Depot. Once the officer reached the truck he started to drive off the officer is trying to stop him ended up getting dragged for a short distance in this parking lot another group of police vehicles able to chase down Hade nearby Hade ditching the stolen truck in a neighborhood off of Cable Grant Road forcing himself into a home the homeowner attempting to shoot the man and missing he was arrested the same day as the incident and police were able to track down the original owner of the truck out in Frio County Live from the southwest side, Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Mark and Leslie. Sarah, thank you very much. This morning, a man is dead after police say he was hit and killed by a driver on the northeast side. Now, we brought you the story on the night beat. It happened around 930 last night near Perrin Vital in Sunshadow. Police say the 50-year-old man was crossing the street when he was struck. According to officers, the victim was using the crosswalk but did not have a green light. The driver did stop and called 911, but the man was pronounced dead at the scene. No word yet on if the driver will face any charges. It will come as no surprise to you this morning. A state emergency has been issued for both North and South Carolina as Hurricane Florence churns its way towards the East Coast. A Category 4 hurricane is not only expected to land with a punch, but the storm's impact is expected to be felt long after. CNN's Omar Jimenez is in North Carolina where residents are making final preparations. Emergency management officials say preparation for residents should be completed by tonight. Close to 1.5 million people across the southeast facing mandatory evacuations today. And FEMA Director Brock Long echoing the statements we've heard from many and local and state officials. If you've been asked to leave, you should do so. This is historic. The storm is big 
and it's vicious. While those in Hurricane Florence's path are stocking up on necessities, companies around the country are gearing up to help in the storm's wake. Supply store giants Home Depot and Lowe's have both activated hurricane command centers to make sure area stores are well stocked before and after. Almost every North Carolinian is going to be affected by this storm in one way or another. So we know that there's probably going to be loss of power for a number of days. Electric companies from all over, including this one in Arizona, are sending linemen and equipment to help restore power after the storm. Loss of power and no access to medical supplies can mean life or death for those who survived the storm but are stuck in its aftermath. So the concern is about people who are very young or very old, who don't have much money or access to transportation, who do not speak the predominant language and don't have access to information. Direct Relief, an aid organization in California, is sending crates of medical supplies to help with that burden. But the most important thing, officials say, is that residents are heeding their warnings and leaving. Get to safety before the trouble comes. People need to, to take advantage of the time now uh, while it's still safe and put yourself in a position where you don't have to call 911. And to give you an idea of the preparations here in Wrightsville Beach, today begins the mandatory evacuation, and by tonight, no one will be allowed on the beach behind me. The town's water system will also be shut off by this evening. Reporting from Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, I'm Omar Jimenez. President Donald Trump says his administration is totally prepared ahead of Hurricane Florence and its anticipated landfall. The president gave his administration an A-plus grade for its response last year to Hurricane Harvey. ABC's Janae Norman reports. President Trump is promising preparedness as Hurricane Florence barrels toward the East Coast. We are totally prepared. We're ready. They haven't seen anything like what's coming at us in uh, 25, 30 years, maybe ever. It's tremendously big and tremendously wet. But even as he prepares for the coming storm, the president set off a firestorm by touting his administration's response to Hurricane Maria. The storm devastated Puerto Rico and was the deadliest hurricane in modern American history. But that fact seeming to escape President Trump. I actually think uh, it was one of the best jobs that's ever been done. From the beginning, his response has raised eyebrows and faced backlash as he was captured on camera tossing paper towels like basketballs to hurricane victims and declaring Maria's destruction far short of Hurricane Katrina's. The death toll from Maria reaching nearly 3,000 people. And now one senator telling MSNBC documents show the administration transferred $10 million out of this year's FEMA budget to ICE to go toward detention and deportation programs for immigrants. In fact, so $10 million comes out of FEMA when we're facing a hurricane season, knowing what happened last year, and now we have the, this hurricane, uh, Florence, bearing down on the, on the Carolinas. And we know some people have decided not to evacuate areas the hurricane is expected to impact. President Trump said everybody should get out and listen to their local authorities. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. Obviously, this is one of many stories we are following closely. You can find the latest on KSAT.com. We'll also send out push alerts for the story and all the other big headlines we cover. Just download the KSAT app. You can find it for free in the App Store or Google Play. Your time now, 6.09. Your temperature outside, 73 degrees. Still to come, an important warning this morning for anyone who uses ride-hailing services. A surveillance camera capturing a woman jumping from a moving car. You don't want to miss why she did that in your GMA First Look. And just ahead, we're talking about the battle for the House and the Senate. What experts say could be shaking out in Washington. Live cam right now, there are showers back in the area yet again. Don't put that umbrella away just yet. Why don't you take a look at Mike's potential weekend forecast. Looks like it's raining pretty good out there by San Antonio International Airport. We'll be right back. The 96-hour sale is back at Toyota Bernie. $7,600 off new 2018 Tundras. Save $7,600 for 96 hours only at Toyota Bernie. I-10 exit 543 in Bernie. Toyota of Bernie.com. Beto O'Rourke says there's no crisis on the border. Of course there is. And O'Rourke's part of the problem. Rolling out the red carpet for illegal immigrants. Taxpayer-funded benefits. Sanctuary cities. While voting against body armor for Texas sheriffs patrolling the border. Now, O'Rourke...
reports talking about abolishing ICE, giving free reign to Mexican drug cartels. Lawless borders, reckless politician. That's Beto O'Rourke. Texans are as responsible for the content of this advertising. My problem was never really my feet. It was always my back. I had had as many epidurals that I could possibly have in one year. And that's when Tara at the Good Feet store kept telling me to try her arch supports. The future I can see now. I couldn't see it before. You can't use this. <laughs> a little early for jingle bells but it's never too soon to get your home ready for the holidays that's why cw floors and lighting is selling carndine corlock luxury vinyl plank for just 3.99 a square foot carndine corlock is the best there is and because it clicks and locks in place with no adhesive installation is a snap right now you'll find deals on select products throughout the store so why wait save money today and get your home ready for the holidays only at cw floors and lighting it got to the point where mom stopped using the phone. She was so frustrated that she couldn't hear. Thankfully, I found the answer. A CapTel Caption Telephone. With your Sprint CapTel phone, you hear what you can and read what you miss. It's operator-assisted voice recognition, so you see what your caller says word for word. It's just like using any other phone. Plus, I can read what my caller says. If you have hearing loss, you can get a phone at no cost to you. I love my Sprint CapTel. You could give your people Culligan water for $39 per month. More than 100 Americans die each day in traffic crashes, and more than 6,000 per day are injured. If you were injured in a crash, you may be entitled to recover damages. Call Thomas J. Henry, 24-7, nights and weekends. The 96-hour sale is back at Toyota Bernie. $4,600 off, new RAV4s, save $4,600 for 96 hours only at Toyota Bernie. I-10, exit 543 in Bernie, toyotaofbernie.com. Across from the University of the Incarnate Word sits an abandoned landscape filled with the remains of Mexican-inspired fountains and sculptures. This lost garden, known as Miraflores, belonged to one of San Antonio's most prominent surgeons. Born in Mexico City, Dr. Adeliano Urrutia was born into a family of modest means. A well-educated and talented man, he grew up to become one of Mexico's most accomplished physicians. But his disagreements with the government, after briefly serving in the presidential cabinet, would cause his exile from the country, forcing he and his family to immigrate to the U.S. in 1914. Over the next several decades, he rebuilt his life, becoming a prominent figure in San Antonio. He was the first surgeon to separate conjoined twins and developed new methods and instruments in the medical field. Dr. Urrutia built a medical clinic and pharmacy downtown on the corner of Houston and Santa Rosa. He was known for his elaborate Spanish-style home on Broadway, where he raised his large family and hosted dignitaries from around the world and with a love and appreciation for the arts and as a homage to his Mexican culture he built Miraflores Garden on part of his 15 acres at Broadway in Hildebrand a man eager to bridge the Hispanic and Anglo communities of San Antonio Dr. Urrutia passed away in 1975 at the age of 105. San Antonio's tricentennial moments on Case at 12 are powered by Frost Bank and Sierra Cars Trucks and RVs and the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. 614, welcome back on your Wednesday morning. You're watching GMSA. Here's some political trivia you may not know. Since the Civil War, the party that controls the White House has lost seats in the House 35 out of 38 midterms. That may be why some anticipate Democrats taking the House come November, but what about the Senate? Good question. CNN's Kristen Holmes is in Washington this morning with the details. 
For months, political experts have forecasted a potential blue wave in the House, really giving Democrats the confidence that they can pick up the 23 seats needed to flip the House in November. Uh, but when it comes to the Senate, it's largely still an uphill battle. You have Democratic senators running for re-election in Montana, North Dakota, Missouri, West Virginia, Indiana, all states that President Trump won by double digits. The recent numbers showing that the Senate might actually be in play too. Looking at Indiana, yes, Democrat Joe County Donnelly Sheriff's up office. by six points. In Tennessee, Democrat Phil Bredesen up by two points. These numbers will likely energize Democrats, but the only way they can actually take control of the House is by holding on to all of their current seats, which could be hard in competitive races like Florida, and to pick up Republican seats as well, like Nevada or Texas. So what does all of this mean for November? Well, it means more money, more political attack ads, more campaign rallies, and more of those heavy hitters from both parties hitting the campaign trail. In Washington, I'm Kristen Holmes. Back to you. Here are the three elections in which the president's party won House seats in the midterm. 1934 during the Great Depression, 1998 around President Clinton's impeachment, and 2002 in the aftermath of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Well, let's check on the roadway, see how your midweek traffic is shaping up on this Wednesday. Marcus, what's happening? Well, it's completely different from the past uh, two days. Right now, things are still very, very quiet as far as delays and accidents, so nothing on the highways right now. Let's take a look at TransGuide because we do have some other spots now where we're seeing some of that precipitation. That's 410 at Crossroads. The roads are wet. Now, they weren't like that just a little while ago, so we're starting to get more of that light rain uh, here and there, so make sure you reduce that speed, increase that following distance, and remember, both hands on the wheel, put away those distractions. Yeah, to me, uh, it looked like that live cam shot out by San Antonio International showed some, some showers in progress, too. We've got those little showers that are moving across town right now, so mm -hmm. just enough to keep the roads damp. And, and they're going to be very damp this weekend. Yes, indeed. Uh, we'll have scattered showers, thunderstorms today, kind of like yesterday, same thing tomorrow. And then uh, we start to see the potential for more heavy rain moving here Friday. And and Saturday. And nothing definitive yet on what's happening out there in the Caribbean or potentially the Gulf yet. It, it's it's in the Gulf right now. Okay. Disturbance. And it's just a disturbance out there as of right now. It's just going to be a big uh, rainmaker. So uh, first of all, you know, we've been talking about how much rain we have had, but obviously the rain has kept temperatures down ever since, well, late in the day on Labor Day. And normal high, the average normal high temperature for the past uh, couple of about the past week is about 93 degrees, but we have been at 89 degrees. Now, the first two days, uh, that Saturday and Sunday, a uh, week ago, we started off very, very hot around here. Temperatures were up in the upper 90s both of those days, mid 90s on Labor Day, and then all the rain started to move on in here. And of course, just a couple of days ago, we only stayed at 74 for high temperatures. So that took that average way down, but we've been four degrees below normal for average for uh, the first 12 days. That's including the forecast for today. A great picture out there. League City, look at that beautiful, beautiful the sky out there. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you for the uh, KSAC Connect pictures. Mold remains on the high side. And again, the aquifer, this is just the best graphic we have. The aquifer has gone up in the past, what, eight days, nine days, about 20 feet. And it's probably going to continue to go up when uh, today's official reading comes out. We're at 73 right now, 74 in New Braunfels, 76 in Gonzales, and humidity dew points measure moisture in the atmosphere are back up. We were down in the 60s yesterday. We had that little bit of a break, but now it is much more humid out there. A couple of showers around Ascosa County, and then a few more are starting to pop up. Uh, Wilson County, and then extending back over toward Victoria. And you can see the heaviest rain is right there along the coast. And we've got those few little uh, sprinkly showers. Let me go back to this picture. You can see a few of them kind of cutting right across the uh, good portion of the city. Just uh, sort of the scattered variety, if you will. And we've had this disturbance this right here down in the southern portion of the state. And that's going to continue to work its way up to the north and up to the northeast. And that's going to keep the showers around here today. Just, again, the scattered variety like yesterday. And then we'll also see some sunshine thrown in. The majority of the rain, even though there's a few of them out there to the uh, west, the majority would be off to the east later on today. And temperatures will make it back up into the mid-80s. We will see the same scenario tomorrow. Then we start to feel the effects of this disturbance out here. The I know everybody's kind of like, oh, is it going to be a tropical storm? Probably not. 
uh, Hurricane Center right now says about a 50% chance that in the next two days, it could become more developed uh, into perhaps even a tropical depression. But whatever it becomes, it, uh, as of right now, is still going to be a good rainmaker as it continues to work its way on in here. So this is what we are expecting for Friday and Saturday. Then off to the east, we've of course got uh, Hurricane Florence out there, which is has weakened ever so slightly. It should gain some more strength as, as it crosses the Gulf Stream just off the coast and then make land by it looks like sometime early Friday morning. And boy, it's the computer models after that. Once it makes land, everything's in can't agree. It's going to be hanging around in Georgia, going up toward the Tennessee Valley, hanging over the Carolinas, and it's just going to be a huge rain producer off to the east. 80 today at noon. A couple of scattered showers, uh, maybe a thunderstorm or two, and then some sunshine thrown in, but of course, one or two of those showers scattered about the area, a few thunderstorms, 86 for a high temperature. About the same situation tomorrow. And then we get into Friday, Saturday. That's when the potential for heavy rain moves into the area, and we could, obviously, with ground so saturated some heavy downpours flooding is a potential problem Friday and Saturday and then we'll start to kind of clear back out again by Sunday and Monday no lack of rain in the last couple of weeks nope right. 11 inches of it here a lot of rain thanks 621 73 degrees it's the day Apple fans have been waiting for the company is getting ready to unveil new gadgets details coming up in your morning consumer news Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel is kicking off football season with the $100,000 Ultimate Drive Giveaway. Earn entries now and score a Ram Rebel truck or up to $1,000 cash. Play hard or go home. Come and play. I drive a truck. I drive a sports car. I like SUVs. Find what you're looking for in a select pre-owned vehicle from World Car Nissan and be protected. I have a lifetime warranty. I have lifetime roadside assistance, too. Select pre-owned vehicles with a lifetime warranty. That's just awesome. You have many choices on where to buy pre-owned, but if you'd like protection for a lifetime, shop World Car. World Car is the place. World Car for a lifetime. Champion AC, your comfort is our mission. With over 1,800 positive reviews, you know you're getting the best service for the right price. And with this summer heat, now is the best time to get a brand new AC system starting at just $55.55. We also offer 0% financing for 36 months or payments as low as $70 a month. Ask how you can get worry-free maintenance for 10 years. Call 504-5555 or visit us at championac.com. Champion AC, where your comfort is our mission. My mom's tough. She came to this country, raised me as a single mom. When she got sick, cancer learned how tough she really is. But so did the insurance companies. I'm Gina Ortiz Jones, and I approve this message. Because no one should have to fight to make insurance companies pay while they're fighting for their lives. Affordable health care is something we all deserve. In Congress, I'll be tough enough to make sure we get it. Because I had a great example. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel invites you to come and play. Over 3,300 of your favorite slots, a private poker room, bingo, and live entertainment every weekend. Join the Players Club and play your way to greater rewards. Come and play. You could win 50 at 5. We are Circle K's Secret Word of the Day on KSAT News at 5. about this guy. This guy's been through a lot. Dogs bring out the good in us. Pedigree brings out the good in them. Feed the good. If you come to Burlington just to buy a coat, here's what you're missing. Great fitting jeans. Tons of boots. My favorite brand. So much for the home. Makeup. The latest fashion. All the great brands at a fraction of the cost. Hello, Burlington. Bye bye, Coat Factory. When you have pain, you want relief fast. Only new Thermacare Ultra Pain Relieving Cream has four active ingredients to fight pain four different ways. Get relief fast with new Thermacare Ultra Pain Relieving Cream. How do you top mac and cheese? Start with 100% clean ingredients, like Vermont white cheddar. Then add bacon, barbecue chicken, or Baja blend. Catering and delivery now available. Panera, food as it should be. In this 
this morning's GMA First Look, a Las Vegas woman is speaking out after she says she was kidnapped by a man posing as an Uber driver this summer. Elizabeth Suarez says she had called an Uber and got into the vehicle that she says matched the description on her app. But then she says she got a call from her real Uber driver. She says she was forced to leap from the moving car. An Uber spokesperson tells us the safety benefits that are built into the Uber app, like the GPS tracking of your trip only work if you are in the car assigned to you through the app. If someone is in the wrong car, they won't know who their driver is and neither will Uber. The Las Vegas Police Department says they're still investigating. And we'll tell you how to stay safe on your next ride share coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, New York. But in your GMSA consumer headlines first this morning, Apple's next big unveiling is happening today. They're expected to show off their biggest and most expensive iPhone yet. It is rumored to have a six and a half inch screen and like the iPhone 10, no home button. The new lineup is also expected to include a cheaper version of the 10 and a new watch. The so-called endurance drone is set to soar into the market. The US one has enough battery power to fly as much as two hours nearly five times as long as other drones. It's set to be delivered before the end of the year. The cost, about $7,000. 104 days till Christmas and Amazon is getting into the spirit. They will be selling full-size Christmas trees, live trees, starting in November. They'll be shipped without water, but within 10 days of being cut. Amazon says that means they should still be alive when they arrive. Like the should still be alive. And <laughs> Returns could be a problem. It could. It so could, but uh, somebody will try it. You know it. <laughs> 626 now and 74 degrees outside. Coming up next half hour, police arrest two suspects in an overnight break-in at a fast food restaurant up near North Star Mall. We are live with the latest details. And checking the roadways with Trans Guide as we head to break. Officer Marcus Trujillo is in the studio, and of course he's checking out your traffic. He'll have an update coming up. Nature connects art with Lego bricks. Coming this fall to the San Antonio Botanical Garden. So you ditched your cable. Now you have all your big streaming apps, but where's your local news and weather? Add the KSAT TV app for free and never miss a story. Stream newscast live or watch when you want. If it's local, it's on KSAT TV. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's Fall Home 12-Hour Sale. This Friday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., save 20% off your first item and then 15% of the rest of your purchase. Or get no interest until 2023. This Friday only at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke and I approve this message. It's Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month. The best time to take home big savings on our full lineup of tech-filled Titan trucks with V8 standard and best-in-class standard horsepower and torque, all backed by America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month and take home big savings. Save up to $13,691 on Texas Titan or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. Hurry, truck month ends soon. The world never stops. It's constantly changing, evolving, moving forward, and so are we. Introducing Spectrum Mobile. Built on America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. Combined with our ultra-fast nationwide Wi-Fi network. Choose from our unlimited data plan for $45 a line. Or our buy the gig plan for $14 a gig. Call 833-202-7283. Then enjoy a faster, better connection with streaming, surfing, gaming, or whatever you're into. All with unlimited talk and text and no contracts. Call 833-202-7283. The best network, the best devices, the best value. Switch to Spectrum Mobile today with our unlimited data plan for $45 a line and save up to 40% on your mobile bill. Or get our buy the gig plan and pay as you go for $14 a gig. All with unlimited talk and text. Call 833-202-7283 or visit SpectrumMobile.com. 
Don't miss Ashley Home Store's Fall Home 12-Hour Sale. This Friday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., save 20% off your first item and then 15% of the rest of your purchase. Or get no interest until 2023. This Friday only at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. Friendship. It's a person that you trust with your wife and your kids. And it's being able to have the hard conversations and being willing to listen. It's a million little things. A million little things. A new drama, September 26th on ABC. A whole lot of effort, but nothing to show for it but some handcuffs. Good morning, I'm Katrina Weber. Police say that's the situation for two men who tried to break into this Northside restaurant. I'll tell you about it coming up. I'm Emily Rao in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Millions of people are now evacuating before Hurricane Florence. Coming up, the very latest on last minute preparations and the government response. Showers still in the area. Live look downtown. You from moments ago could not see the top of the Tower of the Americas due to the low clouds in the area. Plus, Mike is keeping an eye on the Gulf of Mexico. Good morning. Welcome back. 630 on your Wednesday. It is September 12th. Thank you for being with us this morning. The traffic's quite active, which we'll get to in just a moment. Hopefully, smooth commute. So far, no accidents. Good. However, what we've been watching is little by little, uh, the, the roads looked like this morning they were going to stay dry for a little bit. However, it started up on the northeast side. Now we're seeing it all the way up to the northwest side, the far west side. Wet roads on the highway, so give it some extra time. Yeah, this is the time of morning where he's like, oh, there's one, there's another one. So they start coming yeah. in one by one. This is the busy time. Do the kiddos need to have a rain jacket today? Yes, yeah, take a rain jacket because we do have a lot of just scattered light rain in and around town. And uh, Justin Horn just walked in and he said, yeah, from about Medical Center all the way down on 10 into downtown, he said it was pretty good rain mm -hmm. at oh, times. Okay. So temperatures are going to stay in the low 70s this morning with a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm, and then about 86 degrees. So one of those those humid afternoons, you know, that sunshine just really makes the steamy factor kind of shoot up there. So with uh, a few more showers and even a couple of uh, thunderstorms, today will be a lot like what it was yesterday and same thing tomorrow. Take a look at radar right now and not much really, you know, it doesn't look all that impressive except along the coast. And then we've got the uh, the few showers, some moderate downpours there in Atascosa County, a couple more Wilson County and just to the south of Seguin, maybe a few in and around Nixon over toward Quero. But then you move into zooming a little bit closer in Bear County. Notice how there are just like I said, a couple of hours ago, there wasn't anything out there. And now a few of these these light little showers that are kind of uh, scooching across the area from basically east to west. And, you know, it's covering a good chunk of San Antonio. So you will run into a little bit of rain as you head out this morning. So an umbrella and a light rain jacket is a pretty good idea. And temperatures are actually up slightly compared to yesterday as is the humidity up slightly compared to yesterday. We had that bit of a break. So here's the disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico, the one that moved in from the Caribbean, and it is forecast to work its way in our direction. And it is going to be, as of right now, a pretty good rain producer for us by Friday and Saturday. And there is going to be the flooding potential with some of those heavier downpours. We'll talk more about this and also what's going on with Florence out there in the Atlantic. Time saver traffic right now. So any big problems yet, Marcus? Well, it is just popping up right now, Mike. I'm just getting the details as it's just coming in. This accident here, folks, being reported as a major accident, not on 1604, but the intersection of Culebra Road and 1604 there, uh, right just outside the loop. So keep that in mind. If you normally use Culebra Road to come back towards 1604, you will have delays already. Roads are slick out there. Let's take a look at various trans guide cameras. You can see uh, the reflection there, 281 at the quarry. Folks are having to slow down I-10 and Callahan as well. As you just heard, Justin Hoare just went through here. Lots of water on the roadway, 10 at Frio as well. Be careful around those long turns and curves because you could be involved in an accident this morning if you're moving too fast. Leslie? Good advice. Thank you very much. Marcus knew this morning police say they could have gotten away with it. Two burglars who found their way inside a Northside Chick-fil-A restaurant, but instead those suspects have been arrested. All of this happening earlier this morning. This is at Loop 410 and McCullough Avenue right across from North Star Mall. Our Katrina Weber joins us now live. So how did they get caught, Katrina? 
But police say there were two reasons they got caught. One being that they returned to the scene of the crime to get something that they left behind. And police say these suspects also called attention to themselves by smashing the alarm, alarm system. The police say that alarm, it turns out, was never even turned on. And if the suspects hadn't tampered with it, it never would have gone off. Now, when it did go off around 3.30 this morning, it alerted the manager who called police to the scene. Officers got here and they found two men attempting to get inside this Chick-fil-A. But they quickly found out, though, that those suspects already had been inside. In the process of investigating why they were trying to get back into the building, uh, we realized that uh, once we got in, they left their cell phone in there. So they were trying to get back in there to get their cell phone. The police say those men were still wearing bandanas on their faces and had burglary tools in their hands. They ran from the restaurant, but officers chased them down and caught them. Police say it doesn't look like they got anything, that they caused more damage than anything else. And out here you can see uh, that well, there, we just saw a manager in the doorway attempting to make some repairs. Police are trying to also see if these men may be responsible for other burglaries in the area. They say they have had some similar ones during the past two months. Reporting live on the north side, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Overnight, we learned the name of the man who San Antonio police say dragged an officer during a chase last month. This is 32-year-old Hade Laban. He's facing a new charge of unauthorized use of a stolen vehicle. Police say back on August 26, officers stopped the driver of the stolen vehicle in the parking lot of a Home Depot at 151 in Loop 410. That driver, they say, was Labani. Reportedly started to drive off, dragging an officer with him for a short distance. He then led officers on a chase before ditching the stolen truck and running off. Also new this morning, a man caught on camera robbing a pizza restaurant last week is now in police custody. This is 34-year-old Victor Gonzalez. According to the arrest affidavit, back on September 5th, the suspect went into a Little Caesars on Poteet Jordanton Freeway. While holding a gun, Gonzalez demanded the employee gave him the money from the register. The employee complied. Gonzalez ran off with the money. According to police, the whole incident was recorded by security cameras. Gonzalez was arrested on aggravated robbery charges. Police say Gonzalez is connected to other robberies as well. Just about 637 right now, the San Antonio Independent School District getting ready for major renovations at 13 of its schools. The district will be hosting a series of community meetings to inform residents about the projects and get your input. The first meeting will be tonight, tonight at 6 at Jefferson High School. The $450 million 2016 bond will provide funds for the renovations, including replacing infrastructure systems. In most cases, many are more than 40 years old. You can find more information on ksat.com. This afternoon, you can voice your opinion about a proposal to regulate dockless vehicles like the scooters and the bikes that you see around town. The meeting will be at the Municipal Plaza building. It starts at 6 p.m. You do have to register to attend. You can do that in person or online. City Council officials say the goal of the proposed ordinance is to, quote, embrace this new technology while keeping the safety of pedestrians as a highest priority. City Council will vote on the ordinance on October the 11th. It's one of our top stories today, tracking Florence, which is barreling towards the Carolinas at a Category 4 storm, and the forecast shifted overnight. The National Weather Service is warning Florence could be, quote, a storm of a lifetime for the Carolinas. ABC's Emily Rao is on the coast with the latest. This morning, millions of people are clearing the path of Hurricane Florence. We have to leave. We, we don't have a it, choice. It gets really scary out here in storms. Yeah. Westbound highway traffic at a crawl as more mandatory evacuations take effect. And overnight, Florence shifting her path, putting landfall closer to Wilmington later into Friday and setting up a devastating storm surge potential that could be catastrophic. National Weather Service officials warning, quote, I can't emphasize enough the potential for unbelievable damage from wind, storm surge, and inland flooding with this storm. The North Carolina governor also sounding the alarm. The waves and the wind this storm may bring is nothing like you've ever seen. With a message for locals who have weathered storms before and plan to wait this one out. We need people to evacuate. They're putting their own lives at risk as well as the lives of first responders. Those first responders, along with thousands of other disaster response crews, preparing for the worst as Florence creeps closer. This is extremely serious. We have over 3 million volunteers across the nation 
that can help us. You just can't imagine about what is about to happen. And here in Wrightsville Beach, which is east of Wilmington, a lot of people told me yesterday they don't plan on going anywhere. When I asked about that mandatory evacuation order that goes into effect at 8 o'clock this morning, they said they'll take their chances. Emily Rao, ABC News, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Your time now just about 40 minutes after 6, and it's 73 degrees outside. Coming up this morning on GMA, the big Dancing with the Stars revealed all new cast for season 27. You don't want to miss which celebrities will be battling in the ballroom for the trophy. That's on Good Morning America beginning at 7. I can't believe it's been that long. 27. What? You book a hotel that fits your budget based on a set online price. But when you check out, you're slammed with hidden fees. Well, after the break, things to keep in mind to ensure you save some big bucks. That's such a genuine what? We'll be back. The 96 hour sale is back at Nissan of New Braunfels. 14888 buys Ultima. 14888. It all ends Monday night at Nissan of New Braunfels. I-35. Except 191 of New Braunfels. Nissan of New Braunfels.com. I had a renewed interest in life. Um, my libido just went off the scale. My skin dryness went away, and I was—I noticed that my stomach, my my weight gain in my stomach had gone down. You need to try this. I tell you, you need to call HWC Clinic now. Do it for yourself. It's going to make a difference in your life. It's going to make a difference in your marriage. Call HWC of Texas today at 210-679-2500 for your free consultation. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. Does Beto O'Rourke think refusing to stand for the national anthem is disrespectful? No, I don't think it's disrespectful. And I can think of nothing more American than to peacefully stand up or take a knee. Texan Tim Lee stepped on a landmine in Vietnam. I gave two legs to this country. I'm not able to stand, but I sure expect you to stand for me when that national anthem is being played. In November, where will you stand? With 0% for 72 months or 16,000 off MSRP. Our remaining 2018 Ford F-150s are going fast. Or how about a new 2018 Escape? Now just $299 a month and you own it. Get red hot deals on a new Ford Explorer. Now available with a no lease, you own it payment of just $399 a month. Shop us first. Shop us now. Northside Ford, where we'll beat any Ford deal in Texas or give you $1,000. We'll beat it. The perfect sofa is a reflection of your individual style and needs. That's why Lewis Shanks offers an infinite selection of fine home furnishings in every style. Visit our custom design center where you can customize something that perfectly fits you. Or partner with one of our experienced designers to help make your dream home a reality. Room by room or one piece at a time. Lewis Shanks Furniture. We live to help you love where you live. A ballet dancer's body goes through like so much pain and the pain was really bad in my knees, my ankles, even in my hips sometimes. When you're a dancer, that's just the last thing that you want. And so my mom took me into good feet and then that's when we got my arch supports. Like a week after I got them, I was like, holy cow, like all of a sudden the pain just went away. I didn't even know the arch supports existed until I got them and I was like, where were these all my life? <laughs> The 96 hour sale is back at Nissan and New Braunfels. 24,988 buys Titan. 24,988. It all ends Monday night at Nissan and New Braunfels. I 35, exit 191 in New Braunfels. Nissan of New Braunfels.com. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. I looked way too serious in that promo. Well, you, you look professional. Oh, is that it? Yes. Okay, we'll stick with that. 6.43 right now. Resort fees, cleaning fees, taxes, recommended housekeeping tips. NYU research revealed hotel fees and surcharges rang in at $2.47 billion in 2015, compared to $1.6 billion just a decade ago. What if we told you there are ways to cut down on these sometimes hidden hotel fees? Stephanie Cerna has the inside scoop. People of all ages and backgrounds love to travel, like Hunter Ramo. I went to the Bahamas, 
uh, after the Bahamas, and I got to do some research out there, which was really cool. Um, then I went to Australia and went all along the coast from Sydney to uh, the Great Barrier Reef. But unless you have friends around the world, you're probably going to need a hotel. Some hotels charge a daily fee just for having an in-room safe. If you don't use this, ask for it to be removed before you check in. If your pet is coming, try a pet-friendly travel site like Brink Fido to help you choose the best option. If you're going to take the resort shuttle to or from the airport, be sure to ask if it's an added charge. And don't be late checking in or out. You could get hit with a fee. Some hotels may charge for Wi-Fi by the day or even by the minute. So research ahead if you can't be without Netflix for a night. Parking in the hotel lot may also cost you per day. Check multiple sources for price quotes. Some sites will include these fees while others will not. Ask ahead of time if you're unsure and know your rights. Federal law requires all hotel fees be clearly disclosed, so read the fine print for terms and conditions. If they weren't disclosed to you in writing, point them out and ask for them to be removed. Some hotels even charge up to $25 to mail or receive packages. These fees may vary depending on the size or number of packages. And hotels aren't the only establishments with hidden fees. Airbnb also attaches costs including service fees, cleaning fees, and a security deposit, just to name a few. Stephanie Serna, KSET 12 News. And folks, we're looking at that major accident once again. Quilever Road right at... Uh, of uh, four, uh, 1604, just outside 1604. Next, let's move to this one here. Another major accident being reported. FM 3009 at FM 78. And now we have this one, uh, motor vehicle pedestrian accident. Another major accident, West Commerce right at Acme. So the accidents are starting to come in. So thank you, Mark Austin, for making that happen, uh, making that comment. What right I do? Now. What I do? You said this is about the time you start having the accidents. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, 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 well, it's so not you, entirely my fault. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> so 1604, Kyle Seal, heavy congestion on the eastbound main lanes, but everywhere we look, we have uh, not damp, but actual wet roadways with uh, spray being kicked up, and that's a good example right there that shot I-10 in Callahan. So, folks, give it some extra time. If you normally leave in the next five minutes and you're sitting there and you still have a few minutes to go, you're probably going to be running late this morning. Might want to call ahead and let them know it's better to be late than to be rushing out the door and be involved in an accident. Well, if what I say happens <coughs> is going to happen this morning. Am I going to win the lottery? Uh, that's what I was going to well, say. Well, I was going to go get to the lottery, but I'm going to go right to this thing in the Gulf, and I'm hoping that it falls apart or takes a right turn or something. Well, probably not, because all the, the steering winds are bringing it in our direction. See? And, so, and okay. Justin and I was just talking about it, and, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to become, you know, a storm and all this. The odds of that happening are probably not that great, but no matter what happens, it's going to be a big rain producer for us. You know, mm -hmm. think about this summer, we've had some of these waves coming in here from the Gulf of Mexico, and they've turned out to be big rain producers, and that's what this thing's going to do. So if it were to become more tropical, it's it's almost kind of a, a non-issue. It's not going to be a big hurricane like we're talking about in the East Coast. No, no, that's that's not going to be happening because it is going to get uh, shoved on in here, so it's not going to be able to just sit there and, and you know, bathe in the, the Gulf of Mexico. But, yeah, it is going to produce some potentially heavy rain for us by Friday and Saturday. Weather Service has indicated that uh, they're already starting to think about issuing flash flood watches mm -hmm. for those two days so we'll just have to watch out for that and you know with all the ground so saturated that's going to be the big problem first of all take a look at this picture i love that shot of the uh, tower of the americas thank you very much all lit up rob beautiful picture and pollen that molten's on the high side the updated count's going to be coming out in about uh, half an hour or so uh, I love showing this graphic. The aquifer just since last Monday is up nearly 20 feet and it's probably going to continue to go up the next couple of days. We have 72 in Hondo, 73 in town, 76 Gonzales and uh, just a few light little sprinkly showers. Obviously the majority of the rain is well off here along the coast. This is not anything being produced by that disturbance as of yet. These, this is just another disturbance which uh, has kind of helped to produce the rain yesterday and uh, that's what's uh, causing some of these showers around here. A few of them at Escosa County, Wilson County, and then those few even up around uh, maybe just to the south of uh, Seguin. And then here's those few little scattered showers and you know a decent shower here and there just scooting across the area. So the roads are definitely damp. 
throughout much of San Antonio right now, be it leftover moisture from some of the rain yesterday or some of these showers that moved on through. Computer model has some scattered showers and thunderstorms around the area throughout the day. The majority of the rain would be east of 35. That doesn't mean you won't see anything out in the hill country, but again, just kind of a, a rule of thumb, if you will. And we'll also see some sunshine mixed in like yesterday. So that's going to allow us to get it back up into the mid 80s, kind of that steamy mid 80s. Here's what this computer model, this model looks like through Friday morning. Uh, obviously, there could be a couple of heavier downpours. I had one right about dinner time yesterday, but you know, just kind of based on computer model data, it's not a lot of rain through the next couple of days, except down here along the coast. Then we get into Friday and Saturday, and that's when the really heavy rain starts to move on in here. So that's what we were talking about as this disturbance moves in. That's what's going to be producing some potentially heavy rain. There it is in the Gulf of Mexico right now. It is very ill-defined. Again, basically just a wave, and it's going to continue to work its way in our direction through the next couple of days. The the Hurricane Center says a 50% chance that it could develop into something tropical, be it like a tropical depression in the next couple of days. But then after that, obviously, it's going to be on land, so it wouldn't develop any further. Florence, very quickly, 130 mile per hour winds, and it is forecast to gain more strength and then make land sometime late Thursday night, late tomorrow night into early Friday. So the forecast around here today, we are going to be up to 80 at noon with a couple of scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm around the area. 86 for a high temperature. Again, most of us won't see rain today, but if you do, could have a decent, uh, you know, one of those afternoon downpours and, you know, flooding in the low lying areas is going to be a possibility, the usual kind of spots, and that's going to be the situation tomorrow. But then a more widespread chance of some heavy rain and a better potential for some flooding Friday and Saturday, then that disturbance is going to continue to work its way out of here and we'll just have more of the scattered variety of rain Sunday and Monday. Unbelievable, considering how much of the state is so saturated right now. Any big rain, big problems. Yes, indeed. We were just talking Friday morning is going to be very interesting around here. Uh, not necessarily Friday morning, but especially in the afternoon. No, I, I meant more like news for the morning show oh, covering yes. the, you know, the landfall of Florence for the East Coast and yes. all that. She's right. 651, 73 degrees. Sorry, what was that? You're right. Yeah, I love hearing that. It's important to build a child's world knowledge so they can develop the skills they need for school success. Tomorrow on GMSA, steps the whole family can take to build a toddler's vocabulary. You're right. The KSAT Weather Authority app. Download it for free and instantly get an hour-by-hour -hour forecast for today and tomorrow. Plan ahead with the seven-day forecast. The KSAT Weather Authority app. Sponsored by Comfort Air Engineering and Five Star Cleaners. Right now at Mercedes-Benz of San Antonio, you can get a 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLC SUV for just $3.49 per month or get 1.99% APR financing. You deserve it at Mercedes-Benz of San Antonio, 9600 San Pedro at 410 or mbofsa.com. So, you've got these projects on your list. You've been wanting to update your kitchen, organize your closets, and build the backyard oasis of your dreams. But where do you start? Well, projects solved. The San Antonio Fall Home and Garden Show is here. All right, don't worry. I'm not going to let you fall. I'll be right here. <laughs> She's gone from four wheels to two. Every day, there's a reason to celebrate at Peter Piper Pizza. It's fun and games where everyone wins. And me from Scratch Pizza, everyone loves. This is family fun made easy. Double the delicious with our double up deal. Get two large one topping pizzas on dough made fresh daily for $19.99. Only at Peter Piper Pizza. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. Hi, I'm Jason Thompson, General Manager of Ansira Nissan. Let me show you how to buy your next new car online in just 30 seconds. Just go to AnsiraNissanSA.com. Find the vehicle you want. Now click on the Buy Online button. Choose Upgrades, add a trade-in if you would like. Select Payment Options and Finalize. Take delivery at the store or we'll deliver to your home. And that's it. It's Pizza Month. And when you buy from Ansira, you get CZs for the rest of the year. Depression is depression that is diagnosed within a few weeks to a few months after a woman gives birth. 
It can be difficult to tell if you just have the baby blues or if you actually have postpartum depression. A lot of the symptoms are the same, but they're just milder when you have the baby blues. You can have difficulty with sleep, you can feel tired, you can feel more irritable than you normally feel. Medication can be very helpful for some women. Some women will choose to do individual counseling. Some women will just join kind of a mom support group. I think it is important to know that this can affect any woman. There's no reason for you to be miserable in talking to someone or taking medication for a short period of time can really help you to feel better and help you to take better care of your family. Right now at Mercedes-Benz of San Antonio, you can get a 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLA for just $199 per month or get 1.99% APR financing. You deserve it at Mercedes-Benz of San Antonio, San Pedro at 410 or nbfsa.com. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto or truck accident, call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. You can win 50 at 5. We are Circle K's Secret Word of the Day on KSAT News at 5. And folks, as we take a look right now, uh, eastbound 1604 from 21 to 35 slowing down. But take a look at this right now. You can see I-10 and Frio already showing stacking inbound at the 35 north and south split. Mike? Wow. Slow going out there. And we do have a couple of just light showers uh, around the area moving through. We've had some of those light sprinkles moving through town, so many of the roads are definitely damp. Uh, 74 degrees right now in town. We are going to have more showers scattered about uh, a couple of thunderstorms throughout the day. 86 for high temperature with a little bit of sunshine thrown in. And about the same situation tomorrow. Then it's going to be a different story Friday, especially... Uh, say about mid-morning in through Saturday when that disturbance moves in from the Gulf and that's going to be a potential heavy rainmaker. So Justin's going to be having more on that at 9 o'clock today. All right, great. Thanks and thank you so much everybody for being with us. We'll see you back here for GMSA at 9. Good Morning America is coming up next.